What's going on boys and girls? My name is Coach Champ and I want to welcome you to the last day, day 15 of the Lean Mean 15 program. In today's routine, we're going to have five exercises in which we're going to conduct for three sets. Each exercise is going to be 30 seconds long, followed by a 30 second rest period. With that being said, boys and girls, if you have a yoga mat, pull it out. And if you don't have a yoga mat, you don't really need it. Let's get on up and let's get to work. <laughs> so boys and girls, I just want to say welcome. If this is your first time, second, 15th time, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the Lean Me 15 program. The way that we conduct our classes, I give you an opportunity to see and hear what the exercise is, and then we do it together. The first exercise we're going to have is called T-Jacks. It's just like a jumping jack, but instead of bringing our arms up and down, we're going to go out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. We're going to do it in three, two, one. Here we go. Out, in, out, boom, out, in, out, boom. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. In today's routine, we're going to have a full body exercise routine for day 15. Last day of the program. If you rocked out with us for the entire program, please, 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 I want you to drop your name and your email in the comments because we would love to give you something. Three, two, one, time. So as I said, boys and girls, if you completed the program 15 days, comment down below your name, your email. I wanna give you something. With that being said, the next exercise, boys and girls, is one of the fan favorites is the skaters. In order to do skaters, we're going to take a hop to the left, hop to the right, and continue to do so. As you hop, members to keep balance on that one leg. Here we go, three, two, one, here we go. So they're called skaters, because it kind of looks like if you're skating, if you've been rocking with us since the beginning, you know for this movement, if you need a modification, just bring the legs to the side, bring that leg up, all right? But as you get better and better, start hopping to it, all right? And then as you really get advanced, you can go quickly. Three, two, one, and time. Great job, great job. Our next exercise, boys and girls, is another fan favorite. I don't know why. Maybe I do, but <laughs> the next exercise is called the squat, okay? Perfect exercise to improve your legs or your gluteus maximus. <laughs> In order to do the squat, feet shoulder width apart, chest straight, back straight, pop in the hip as we're gonna take a seat and we're coming up. In three, two, one, here we go. Pop it, come down, thrust it up. Pop it, coming down. Remember, you want to push through your heels, boys and girls. Push through your heels. Push it through the heels. 15 more seconds. We're halfway there. Here we go, here we go. And three, two, one. Time. Great job. Ladies and gentlemen, our next two exercises is going to require us to get on the ground. Our first exercise we're going to do on the ground is, you guessed it, push-ups. With push-ups, boys and girls, if push-ups is too hard for you, traditional push-ups, start on your knees, prop yourself down, and it's the same thing. I want you to keep your elbows tucked into your body, and you're pushing straight up. And if you can do a traditional push-up, you do it. Three, two, one, here we go. So I'm going to start on my knees so I can just show you what the modified version looks like. Okay. All right, the knees are on the ground. You're still pushing up your body, but you're not using your lower body. It's just the upper body coming up and down. All right. As you get stronger, you get better. You can go ahead, lift everything off the ground. Three, two, one and time. Great job. The last exercise, boys and girls, on our routine today is the planks. Yes. Last day, best day. Got to end it with one of my favorite exercises with the planks. As I've told you throughout the program, it's one of those that's a mind and body movement. You need to have your mind ready, your body ready, because guess what? You're maintaining a position. So let's get ready. Here in three, two, 
One, let's go. So boys and girls, if you can look at the screen, you can see that my back is straight. You should be able to create a straight line. You don't want to put your behinds in the air or be putting it on the ground like that. Get off the ground. Hold that position. Make sure you're breathing. In five, four, three, two, one, time. Great job. So boys and girls, we have two more sets of that. As I've said throughout the program, when we have multiple sets of an exercise, it is our job to do better the next set than we did to the previous set. You already went through the routine one time. The second time around, give it your all, okay? Better than you did the last set, all right? T-Jax, in three, two, one, let's go. Out, in, out, boom, out, in, out. There you go, boys and girls. Jumping jacks, any variation of jumping jacks is an excellent exercise that all of you can do at home that requires zero equipment at all. As you continue to grow and your body develops, being able to jump, being able to move your body up and down is something you need to master before lifting weight and time. So as I said, these body weight exercises, a lot of people think that, oh man, it's body weight. I'm not going to get a good workout in because I need weight. It's not necessarily the truth, boys and girls. You are all growing young adults. Your body is growing just naturally. Allow your body to grow. When you get into high school, then you could be lifting some weight. But for many of you, middle schoolers, focus on the body. Okay, body weight movement. Skaters in three, two, one. Here we go. So remember with skaters, going left to right, maintaining our balance. As you get better and better, you can go faster and faster. One of those exercises, which really gets the heart pumping, gets the blood flowing, because you're constantly going to one direction to the next. Three, two, one, Woo. and time. Ha, oh, man. As you can see through my heavy breathing, <laughs> Body weight exercises definitely are effective. All right, this next exercise, boys and girls, is the squat. Remember, with the squats, feet, shoulder width apart, chest high, back straight, first movement in the hips, pop it back, go down to sit down on the chair, and come up. In three, two, one, here we go. Pushing through the heels. Whew. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Come on, boys and girls. Push it, push it, push it. Last day, last day, day 15. After this, you can enjoy a couple days off, and then we're gonna be back with another program, all right? In three, two, one, and time. Great job, great job. Ooh. Boys and girls, last two exercises on the ground. We got push-ups and then we got planks. Catch your breathing while you can. Check out the timer. You can see how much time is left into our next movement. We got 10 seconds. Woo! Push-ups, push-ups, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Pushing through the ground. Push yourself off, away from the ground. Push it through the palms of your hands, not your fingertips, but the palms. Bottom part, which connects to the wrist. 10 more seconds. Now you can notice from my movement, I'm going to slow down, trying to go quick up. And time. Woo. Down the planks, boys and girls, down the planks. Oh, man. Prior to this uh, exercise, boys and girls, I went outside. We got a two-mile bike ride in, played a little bit of basketball. Hence the reason why I'm breathing a little bit heavily. But 60 minutes of physical activity. We're going to talk about that at the end of this video. Here we go. Planks in three, two, 
One, let's get it. Do what you need to do. Say what you need to say. Sing whatever song that it is. I've noticed that the planks is one of those exercises that although it doesn't require a lot of movement, no movement at all, we're literally just standing in this position, a lot of times it's probably one of the most um, painful movements. <laughs> Three, two, one, time. But as I was saying, I've learned, planks is one of those movements that a lot of people, they struggle with, um, but it's really a mind thing, boys and girls. You need to use your mind to empower your body because your body's not moving. Unlike T-jack squats, your body stayed in a position. And you really need to focus that mind to get through the 30 seconds here or a minute, whatever you want to do. Third set, boys and girls, T-jacks. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Last set, last set. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Last one, best one. Last day, best day. Whew. 15 more seconds. Halfway there, boys and girls. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, up, up. Whew. Come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. If you have some water, now's the time to get it. Let me get my water right here. Woo! Yes! Halfway! We got skaters! And 10! Woo! Woo! And 5! 3, 2, 1! Skaters, let's go! Make sure you're breathing, boys and girls. You can see me. Breathing heavily, trying to get deep breaths. Deep breaths is what you're trying to focus on, okay? When you, um, excuse me, when you're breathing rapidly, your body is not in a time. Your body is not in a controlled, relaxed state, okay? So that's why it's important. And then even in sports, you hear people, coaches, Breathe, take a deep breath. By doing slow, you slow everything down in order to center yourself and get back to it, okay? So deep breath, in through your nose, out your mouth, great job. Squats, in two, one, let's get it. One. There you go, boys and girls. Last day, best day. Remember as I, ooh, excuse me, <laughs> got the hiccups. But as I said earlier in the video, boys and girls, if you have completed the entire program, the entire 15 days worth, I would like for you to drop your name and your email in the comments. I want to send you something. Three, two, one, time. Hey, we're on the ground, baby. Last two exercises, boys and girls. And as I said, if you did finish, <clears throat> the program, all 15 days, your name, your email, in the comment. I want to send you something, baby. Come on. 10 more seconds. <sighs> Take a deep breath. <sighs> in three, two, one. Let's get it. <sighs> now, if you can notice for me, I'm going to slow down, quick up. Really doing so just to feel the movement. This is an exercise that strengthens your chest muscles, but it also improves and strengthens your shoulder muscles as well, boys and girls. Make sure to keep your elbows tucked into your body. Thrusting up in five, four, three, two, one, and time. Boys and girls, I can't believe it. We are down to our last exercise of our program. So I need you to help. Come on, just raise some energy. Come on, come on, just raise some energy. Put your hands together, move your body, get excited. We are down to our last exercise. And the best for last, baby, we got planks. Here we go, in three, two, 
One, let's get it. Boys and girls, I just want to say thank you once again for all of you out there, whether this is your first, second, third, or even 15th. I just want to say thank you to be a part of the Lean Mean 15 program, a part of the Fit Kid University. It's our idea to help young adults just like yourself teach them how to move their bodies so they can make it a habit that they can keep with them until they become an adult. Three, two, one, time. Yeah, baby. But as I was saying, boys and girls, it's our vision. It's a mission of ours to teach young adults just like you how to move their bodies, make it a habit so that they can keep it with them and they, until they become an adult and they can use it. Boys and girls, our health is the number one thing in our lives. We're so focused on doing this and then TikToks and the internet and I gotta work, I gotta make money. Hey, you can't be working, you can't really be making TikToks videos if your health is not right, all right? Health is wealth, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, you need to make sure each and every day that you get to live, that you're working on improving your health, all right? Through this program, you did just that. Each and every day you got up, you got 15 minutes of physical activity in with me. We got the exercise in together virtually at your own home. That is great. But remember, each and every day the goal should strive to get at least 60 minutes of physical activity each and every day. Together we got 15 minutes. It's up to you to get the last 45 whether it's riding your bike, playing basketball, playing outside on the trampoline, whatever it is, get your body moving, get your body active. And remember, if you completed the entire program with me, please comment your name, comment your email. I got something I want to send to you. Boys and girls, that's a wrap. God bless.